Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we have to evaluate the limit if it exists, and we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x plus h squared minus 1 over x squared times h. So the issue here is that we can't divide by 0 by directly plugging h in. So what we have to do is to simplify. So if the limit as h approaches 0, and what we're going to do is on top, turn this into one fraction. To subtract two fractions, you have to get the same denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominator of 1 by the other and the denominator of the other by the first. So we have 1 over x plus h squared. We have to multiply it by x squared over x squared. This can be subtracting uh, 1 over x squared by x plus h squared over x plus h squared. This will be over h. And we will therefore have the limit as h approaches 0, x squared over x squared times x plus h squared minus x plus h squared over x squared x plus h squared divided by h. And now we can subtract these two fractions. So we have x squared minus x plus h squared, which I'm going to write out like this over x squared times x plus h squared over h. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared minus x squared minus x times h minus another x times h is minus 2x times h minus h squared. Right? Remember to distribute the negative to all of these terms over x squared times x plus h squared. And instead of dividing by h, I'm going to multiply by 1 over h. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared and x squared cancel. And we're left with negative 2xh minus h squared. So I'm going to do is factor out an h. And that will leave us on top with negative 2x minus h. Of course, this one doesn't affect anything. Over x squared times x plus h squared times h. The h's cancel. And we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2x minus h over x squared times x plus h squared. Now we can plug in a 0 for h without dividing by 0. So we have negative 2x minus 0 over x squared times x plus 0 squared. So this is equal to negative 2x over x squared times x squared, which is negative 2x over x to the fourth, which is negative 2 over x cubed. Therefore, the value of this limit is negative 2 over x cubed. 